How are you, my lovely students? Today, we will start unit three, far and away. Far and away. Lesson one. It's a lesson and discuss. Today, we will listen and discuss for unique or special hotels all over the world. We also identify some new vocabulary and we will complete the paragraph with words from the box. Okay, at first we will listen to the first paragraph and then we will determine the new vocabulary. What's the name of the first hotel? Excellent, it's John's Undersea Lodge. Where is it? It's in Florida, USA. Excellent. Let's listen. Certainly, travel is more than the seeing of sights. It is a change that goes on deep within the mind in the idea of living. William Beard Lines. Jules Undersea Lodge, Florida, USA. Undoubtedly, most people have never been to a hotel like Jules Undersea Lodge before. This extremely unusual hotel, located in Key Largo, Florida, is on the ocean floor. Guests scuba dive to the hotel's one unit, which is over 19 feet 6 meters below the surface. The unit includes two bedrooms, a television, and a 50-inch 107-centimeter circular window that offers views of passing sea life. Capsule Hotels Throughout Japan Okay, now, what's the meaning of surface? What's the meaning of surface? Surface means the outside or top of something. The outside of top of something. Okay, the next word is include. Include, which means contain. Contain. Very good. The next paragraph. It's about capsule hotels. Where is it? It's in Japan. Listen carefully. In recent years, capsule hotels have gained widespread popularity in Japan. Capsule hotels are hotels in which guests stay in a small sleeping space that is just big enough for a bed. There is so little room that some people can scarcely sit up in these capsules. However, in expensive cities, capsule hotels offer a relatively inexpensive alternative to more traditional hotels. Okay, what's the meaning of capsule? What's the meaning of capsule? Capsule means kind of container. Kind of container. Widespread. Widespread. It means covering a large area. Covering a large area. Relatively. Relatively means mostly, more or less. Alternative. Alternative means another option. Another option. Okay, look at the picture. It is the picture of capsule hotel. It is so small. Do you like this kind of hotels for me i don't like this kind of hotel i don't like small places okay now what about the third hotel its name ariao amazon tower hotel where is it in brazil excellent in brazil Look at the picture. It's in the rainforest. And this building and this building is called canopy. This building is called canopy. Ariel Amazon Towers Hotel. Manaus, Brazil. Ariel Amazon Towers Hotel in Manaus, Brazil is the world's largest commercial treehouse. Amazingly, 
Ariao's towers are built at the level of the rainforest treetops, about 72 feet, 22 meters in the air. The towers are linked together by four miles, six kilometers of wooden catwalks. This very unusual setting gives guests the unique opportunity to experience the plant and animal life of the rainforest canopy while leaving the rainforest's ecosystem undisturbed. Okay, for me, I hope to travel this hotel because I like to enjoy natural view. What about you? Do you like it? Okay. What's the meaning of commercial? Commercial means trade. Unique. Unique means unusual or special. Okay, ecosystem. Ecosystem. It's plants and animals that work together in nature. Plants or animals that work together in nature. Environmental system. Excellent. Undisturbed. Undisturbed means quiet or calm place and natural state. Okay. What about the Force Hotel? Look at the picture. Okay. Where is it? Excellent. In Finland. Okay. And this building is called Iglos. Glass Iglos. This building is called Glass Iglos. Okay. Listen carefully and then we will underline the new vocabulary. The Coxlautinen Hotel, Lapland, Finland. In the heart of Finnish Lapland, 155 miles, 250 kilometers, north of the Arctic Circle, lies a truly magical place. The guests the opportunity to stay overnight in either a snow or glass igloo. Those who choose the glass igloos can enjoy the night skies and the stunning northern lights from the comfort of their own bed. Luckily, the hotel provides cozy, extra warm sleeping bags for the guests who choose to sleep in snow igloos. Okay. What's the meaning of stunning? Stunning beautifully. Excellent. Stunning means beautifully. Okay, the next word is cozy. Cozy means comforting. Comforting. Okay, any question about the new vocabulary? Now we will exercise number A. Complete the paragraph with words from the box. Commercial, relatively undisturbed, ecosystem surface widespread. I live in a beautiful area of Panama that is very popular with tourists. In the last few years, there has been development of large and personal hotels. Excellent. Number one is widespread. Very good. Widespread development means covering a large area. Okay. It becomes so popular or common. Laterally, I have been thinking about opening a small friendly hotel. It would space close to the center of town, but far enough that guests would be. Who can answer number two? Excellent. Relatively. Relatively means mostly, more or less. And the guests would be by the noise and traffic. Okay, far away from far away 
from noise, from noise and traffic, okay? Undisturbed, undisturbed place, calm place, excellent. I'd like my hotel to have a view of the water. There is nothing I like better than to watch the sun reflected of the, of the lake, surface of the lake, excellent. I'd also like to run a wildlife park close to the hotel. I wouldn't charge admission, enter, entrance to the park because I don't think enjoying nature should be a commercial activity. Commercial activity. However, I'd limit the number of people who could enter the park each day as too many visitors would, dis would uh, disrupt the ecosystem. Too many visitors would disrupt the ecosystem. All of you write the answers. Now, we will answer exercise number B, comprehension, answer true or false. Number one, capsule hotels are popular in Japan. Excellent, it's true. Number two, guests take a boat to Jolts under sea lodge. Take a boat? Of course not. Why? Because they scuba dive to the hotels. Number three. Joel's undersea lodge has a small square windows, square windows, of course not. They are six, uh, circular windows, circular windows, not square. Number four, the Gax Lautenen Hotel gives the guests the opportunity to explore the rainforest canopy. False, very good. It's false because it's Ariel Amazon Towers Hotel. Number five, capsule hotel provide an inexpensive alternative to traditional hotels. Very good, true. The last one, guests at the Ariel Amazon Towers Hotel have a negative effect on the rainforest e ecosystem. Of course not they have positive effect. Okay, I hope it will be easy for all. Take care of yourself, goodbye.